We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome, everybody. This is Matt Monarch and Angela Stokes Monarch and Araya Berry Monarch. The lovely, beautiful princesses of my life. Bundled up like crazy because it's the coldest morning we've ever experienced in Vilcabamba. It's not that cold. Most of you would be probably laughing and stuff. <laughs> so, my baby girl, what we're going to talk about today is how detoxification is the same thing as going through withdrawals. Yeah. She gets it. She likes that one. But first, let's talk about disease and where it comes from. The first thing we have to understand is that in today's day and age, there has been more disease plagued in the human race than ever before. Meaning, even though there's six million people, the percentage, the ratio, is just off the charts. Almost seven billion people. Isn't seven it? billion people. And the percentage of how many people have disease is just more rampant than it's ever been before. So why is this? Well, common sense says we have never consumed foods that were not meant for the human body, also known as processed foods, like this before in our lives. What happens is when you eat foods that are not meant for the human body, such as McDonald's or Taco Bell or any other fast food or processed foods, Twinkies, M&Ms, all that junk, what happens is it goes in the body and everyone thinks that it detoxifies because it comes out the rear end, but that's not what happens. Chemical reactions happen when you go through, when this digestion process goes through. A combustion effect happens. Gas and carbon dioxide and other toxicity is kind of just like poof. It's like as it comes into the body, it goes poof and goes into the cells and you, be, you become more toxic and then the waste comes out. And then every day we continue to add this and this combustion effect happens and toxicity builds and builds and builds and builds. And this is what disease is. Didn't you hear a statistic on cancer recently? Something like cancer is due to increase 75% or something. And today, it's already increased by a ridiculous amount. And again, you can't take something to heal. So we understand that this, I mean, common sense says that it's the diets that are leading to the disease, the poor diets. And it's the generation of toxicity. So what we have to do is we have to remove that. You can't take something to heal. I hear people saying lately, that, oh, we need shaga to heal cancer. Shaga is not going to do anything. You can put whatever you want in your mouth, but if you're not going to remove the cause of disease, then that's the, pro that's the problem. So to this concept of detoxification is going through withdrawals. As we mentioned last week, when the cigarette smoker eliminates cigarettes, they go through the shakes. When the person eliminates coffee, they get headaches and drug addicts. And the same thing, it goes on and on. When you eliminate a substance that you take on a regular basis, you go through withdrawals. You are detoxing what you have been putting inside your body for years on end. So I want to give you guys... We're going to talk about how to remove disease. And there's three different ways you can do this. You could take the extreme approach, which me and her love, we like extreme. The difficult approach, or the easiest approach. Now before we get into this, if you do any of these things, your entire world and life as you know it will be completely destroyed. It will be like being pulled out of the matrix. It will be like walking a path on your own. It will be family and friends just blah. They're going to be like thinking you're crazy. Most people aren't willing to do this process in order to heal. They say they try a, cl a clonic or something like that and it didn't work. They probably like, this is like a, a new life path that we're going on. This isn't like something that 
you try once and you poke it with the stick method and then move on to the next thing. This is like change. So, if we go back, let's say that someone is a cigarette smoker, an alcoholic, and, a, and they smoke a lot of marijuana. Three things. Now, if they were to eliminate coffee, they would go through detox of the coffee and they'd have headaches and everything like that. However, if they were to eliminate all three, the detox would be more extreme than anything. The withdrawals would be crazy. They're eliminating three substances from their bodies and it's crazy. The coffee is going to give them effects, the cigarettes are going to give them effects, and the removal of the drug is going to give them effects. So now, let's look at diet. The amount of substances that we are eating that are not meant for the human body will blow your mind. We're talking processed starches, refined sugars, pesticides, trans fatty acids, and the list just goes on and on and on. And so when someone improves their diet and they eliminate all of these substances, if you think that the coffee drinker has it bad or, you know, I mean, when you stop drinking soda, you go through massive withdrawals. So when you start to embark on this type of lifestyle, it ain't easy. And you become toxic as you go through withdrawals. And this is where cleansing the colon comes into effect. So now back to this process of going extreme, difficult, or easy. All three processes have the potential to work depending on what your, how bad your disease is. Um, real quickly, there was this one woman who is a colon hydrotherapist. And uh, she became a colon hydrotherapist because she realized what it does. She was on the brink of dying woman in Kansas City. She was at the brink of dying and she didn't know what to do. A woman handed her an enema bag and said, do this every single day. She started doing this every single day. She started to detox. Stuff started to come out of every orifice of her body, her mouth, her nose, her private areas, her everything. And she healed and she became a colon therapist. I can give you story after story of like how this works. My friend Richie that we mentioned last week, um, he went. He was doing enemas every single day. After doing it for a few months, he got sick. I told you, and he said, "If I didn't know what I know from you, what you told me, I would just think I had the flu or something." And people don't get this. And he would have just wrote, written it off as that, taken the flu shot, or done whatever they did, and continued to do it. But he got past it by continuing the enemas and getting the junk out, the disease out. One of my favorite stories was when we were traveling. I think we were in Australia. Do you remember that guy who was like, he just was like such a kind of mainstream guy. Oh, yeah. And um, he had some terrible issues with his knees. He was a plumber and his knees were like horrendously um, inflamed. Right. It was getting really hard for him to work. And somehow somebody told him about doing enemas. And because he was a plumber, he just made his own enema kit oh. out of some tubing that he had and stuff. And he tried it out, and immediately, from the very first enema that he did, of course, he started to experience um, the inflammation going down, and that he just was completely realizing what was going on, and he just carried on with his little homemade enema kit, and um, telling everybody about it, and he was just such a kind of like just straight mainstream plumber, <laughs> but he was like all about the detox via enemies because he just, he got it. He saw the results immediately and he was able to work. He wasn't in pain anymore. It was beautiful. I remember having a, a, a I got stung by a wasp or a bee and this big welt came on. I did an enema, it like was there for a couple of days. I did an, an enema and then just went away. It was crazy. Okay, so the process is, the, ex, the the Anne Wigmore way was the most effective in healing people from everything out there that I've heard of practically. Um, and what she did was you go extreme, you eat raw foods only, and you do enemas every day. I recommend, especially if you're trying to heal major disease, I recommend doing a professional colonic four to five, three to five times a month while eating. You have to, you, enemas and colonics won't work if you don't stop eating the processed foods. You have to do both. 
because that was, or you're just going to keep adding toxicity to the body, and then while you're pulling the same stuff out, it's not going to do much. You're not going to go through withdrawals. You're not going to remove the disease. So the the most extreme thing is going the Anwig more way, only eating raw foods, and doing enemas every day. You you'll probably think I'm killing yourself, killing you or something, because it's going to be crazy detox. But it is the most effective. You should, probably, you should do it with supervision and colonics. I recommend doing four or five, three to five a month when trying to heal. And it would probably cost like two to three hundred dollars. The best investment you'd ever make a month. Just budget that away. The next approach is eating, a, a, you know. And Wigmore also ate more blended foods and nourished the body with food grass. You could also do just a raw food diet, more gourmet-like, and just have fun, and that's a pretty extreme way also. The easiest way, which you're still going to get sick at some point, you're going to go through withdrawals, is eating just whole cooked foods, whole foods and removing processed foods while doing enemas and colonics whenever you're willing. That's the easiest. She got it. So the more substances and or foods that you eliminate from your diet, the more you're going to go through detox and withdrawals and the more difficult it's going to be. If you don't know what whole foods are, I wrote them out. The rawfoodworld.com backslash wholefoods.html. Huge list huge list of whole foods that you can eat. If you could eliminate everything else from your diet, but what is on this list, you're in good shape. Whenever you're not feeling well, cleanse the colon. I get nothing out of telling you about cleansing the colon. I look kind of like an idiot because I'm telling you to stick something up your rear end and pull all the stuff out. But I know it works. This is like my mission in life. I've been chosen to talk about sticking pipes up to people's rear ends. And I wouldn't do that. It's just, I didn't know for a fact that it is the most effective detox method in the world. She's had enough, ladies and gentlemen. And who do we have here, my love? talk about emotional stuff today we're gonna do that next week you guys i just got to get this left brain information out to you because i got drilled in it's very important we're back we're better and and we'll see you next time at the raw food world tv show thanks for joining us we'll see you again at the raw food world